guys, Nick Piccolo, Piccolo Homes. Today we're going to do a product highlight. This last week I was out at uh, the Cedia trade show in, in San Diego and uh, went by and saw the Samsung booth and the booth was really neat. They had uh, top to top ceiling to floor uh, walls with, with pictures of art on the walls and, and they were asking you to find the TVs. And what was interesting is it was very, very difficult. If you notice to my left, this is Samsung's new frame TV. What they've done to me, I think, is make what everybody thought a flat panel TV was going to be. Something that sits flush up against the wall, something that looks like a piece of art but functions as a TV. So, as you can see here, this is a piece of artwork that is part of an art gallery that Samsung has. And I can't tell you how many people have walked in just in these last couple days going, What did you do with your TV? Where'd it go? Well, we got rid of it. No, we didn't get rid of it. This is our TV. My dad was here last week. He literally thought I got rid of our TV. And him knowing as, me as much as I like to watch TV couldn't believe that I did such a thing. But I had to tell him that wasn't the truth. It's not artwork, it's the TV. So what Samsung has done, like I started earlier, is they've created an art gallery that you can go choose from. Put different pieces of art up there. Adjust the matting, change the color of the matting. You can get different frames to go all the way around. Um, they've manufactured this product so that it literally sits on a wall like a picture. You can tilt it and move it like if it was a regular picture sitting on the wall. Now I probably just got that all out of level, but what I wanted to show you guys also was just how easy it is to easy it is to use. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is just we're going to turn it on. The TV's got two different modes. It's got art mode, it's got TV mode. When it senses occupancy, it's got a little occupancy sensor down here. It's got a little dimmer down here. If the room goes completely dark, the TV shuts itself off. Unless, of course, your source is playing. You know, if you're watching your Roku or the football game, if the room is dark, it's not going to go off. But when you put it in the art mode and the lights go off into the room, you're going to bed, this doesn't sit here static. It goes to sleep and it turns off. When you turn the light back on, this comes back up. Same thing with its motion sensor. If you leave the room for however many minutes you've got it set timed out for, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it'll go ahead and time itself out. I mean, nobody's in the room, why are they going to look at a picture? But when you come back in, senses the motion, it comes back on. What I'd like to do real quick is just kind of give you a look at their library so you can see just how easy it is to choose pictures. So you're just going to go into here and go to their art section and it's going to come up with a whole slew of pictures. And you'll be able to go through these pictures. Oh, that one looks nice. So we're going to pick the car. We just set that. Boom. Now you can actually take it a little bit farther. If you wanted to go ahead and adjust the different matte size and the matte colors. So you know, taste change. You don't like the photos, you change the photos. You have a lot of different uh, selections to choose from. You can even go online. Samsung has a membership that you can join for $4 a month and they're constantly uploading photos and images to fit any decor, any mood. You want to be at the beach, we can do a beach. You want a funky beach, we can give you a funky beach house. You can go down, choose your wildlife, architecture, whatever you want. Great thing about this also is you got family photos that you have done, family pictures. You want to picture your family up there. They have their Smart View app for Apple and Android devices and you can use it, shoot the video or shoot the image right up to the screen, pick your custom mat, good to go. It's a done deal. Um, again, this is the Samsung, the Frame TV is what they call it and I think it's a piece of art. I, I, I like it. I, it's my favorite so far. What we'll do real quick though, just so you guys can see the uh, TV image on it, is we'll go ahead and, and, and bounce on out of here and we'll uh, see if we can get something going on Roku real quick. We'll go to Netflix, see what kind of previews we've got. Let's check out Glitch. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it with the, the, with the lighting on it, but maybe you guys can, maybe you can't. but. It's a good looking TV. 4K, ultra high def. Runs you, I think about five, six hundred dollars more than their uh, regular 4Ks that don't have the frame. But in the end, 
I think paying that extra few hundred dollars and having something that's a piece of artwork that's not just a black hole on the wall when you're not using it, it, it is worth it. So let me know in the comments, anybody that's bought any of these, what their thoughts on it, what you're doing for custom artwork, like to he hear about it, like to see it. Check us out at PicklowHomes.com. Facebook also, Piccolo Homes. Take care, guys.